What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Vault Pro Scooters. My name is Jared, I'm from Canada. I ride for Fusion and Lair Pro Shop. Today, we're down here at the Vault, of course, to do a custom build. So let's head into the warehouse and pick out the parts. All right, we're in the warehouse now, follow me. Okay, so I don't know if anyone has started a custom build with the bar ends, but that's what I'm gonna do. So turn the corner over here, I think they're over here. We're gonna go with the ODI aluminum bar ends in red. So a little hint towards the color scheme that I'm doing here. And then since we're right here, we are gonna do the grips and I'm gonna use the black Odyssey grips. All right, um, you know what, we'll go with the wheels. Follow me over here. So we're gonna use the black on red Root Industries Holocores, 110 mils, should be good, super light. Now we'll go with the grip tape. Come over here. I have an idea in mind, I'm gonna use two sheets of grip tape, you know, mix and match a little bit. We're gonna get some red and some black and white in there because that's gonna be kind of my color scheme for the build. As you can see with these parts, we're gonna start with the undialed lit grip tape. I haven't seen anyone rock this in a while, so I think it's the last one, so. If you, if you buy this custom build, be happy. Um, and then we need a little bit of red in it. So I think we're gonna go with, yeah, this one. Go with the Tilt Brain Drain Grip Tape. We're already right here, so of course, I'm gonna be using the Vault Velocity headset. This one is black. I don't really like using colored headsets or usually ride a top cap at all, but for this build, we're gonna be using the black one. Hands are getting full, so we're gonna set those parts right here. I think we just got the bars fork. Yeah, bars, fork, and deck, I believe. I'm basically building this custom exactly like how my personal scooter is. So the fork that I ride is the new Aztec Circa 3 fork, and I'm gonna be using the black one. Put the fork back in the box, make sure it don't get scratched, and these are, I think so. I'm gonna be using the Black Vault Titanium T-Bars. They're oversized, by the way. And then I think the deck, I just walked right past it, my God. Okay, right here, 5.5 five in white. I ride for Fusion. Obviously, I'm gonna be using the Fusion deck. This one is the Entropy 2.0 in white, 5.5 by 22. And I think that's everything, if I'm not mistaken. Clamp, oh, that's right, Ruben behind the camera just reminded me. We need a clamp still, so head over there. I think it's this way. So this is the same clamp I ride. I just painted mine all matte black, but if I were to have this on one on my scooter, I'd be much happier. This is the Oath Carcass double clamp. It's a, kind of a raw titanium looking color with some red accents. Looks like a Tron clamp, so yeah. And also since we are riding HIC on this custom, I gotta go and pick out an HIC kit. So follow me again. Now the one that I'm gonna be using today is the same one that I ride on my scooter. I've had an issue because I ride HIC with super tall tie bars. You know how flexy titanium bars get, so. Um, where is it? Where did it go? I don't know where it went, Ruben. It's not there anymore? <laughs> no, it's gone. Okay, well, we're gonna find it, but it is a steel ethic HIC kit, and it just doesn't make your bars flex as much, so. Your bars are gonna last a lot longer on this scooter, so we're gonna find that, and we're gonna cut over to the studio and start building. Oh! All right, we made it back down to the studio. I'm just gonna do a quick little run through of the parts one more time. So the deck, of course, I've got the white Fusion Entropy. This is 5.5 by 22, my personal favorite. Fork, we got the Aztec Circa V3 fork in black. Wheels, Root Industries Air Wheels in red, 110 mil. Black Vault Velocity headset. We got the Oath Carcass double clamp in this grayish color with the red accents. We got the black Odyssey grips. Red ODI aluminum bar ends. Moving on to the grip tape over here, tilt brain drain grip tape, as well as a mix of the undialed lit grip tape. And last but not least, we've got the Black Vault Titanium T-Bars. So yeah, without further ado, let's get building this and I'm gonna start off with the grip tape. I'm gonna do this exactly like how I do my personal decks. You guys might hate me for it, but I don't ever do full deck grip tape. So you guys will see, I don't really have a plan in mind on how I'm gonna incorporate these two on the deck, but uh, we're just gonna wing it. See how it goes. Actually first, before we do anything, we're gonna start off by taking off the brake quick. Yeah, there we go. I ride my scooters with the brake, always. I have seen people, like I've got teammates on Fusion that ride without a brake and I don't know how on earth they do it because my foot has to rest against the brake for me to do any sort of trick. So yeah, for all you guys that ride brakeless, kudos to you. All right, now we got the brake off. Now we gotta come up with a quick plan on how we're gonna do this. Okay, so I definitely want the lit logo somewhere around the top right. You know what? 
we're just gonna wing it. Gonna go over to the handy dandy paper cutter right here and uh, make a bunch of, well, not a bunch, but make a quick random cut. Should be mint right there. Oh yeah, that's perfect. We're, we're, we're good. So the front end is gonna be like that shape. That's exactly how my scooter is. Saw my teammate on Fusion, Anthony Grant. If you guys wanna check out the other two videos that we filmed at the vault with them, make sure go check those out because we played a game of skew and call the shots. Both very good videos. But anyways, I saw his scooter. He'd done this before. Thought it looked pretty cool. So we're gonna incorporate it on this build today. Gonna be a cut somewhere around here and then the brain drain for the rest. So right there. We're gonna go ahead and slap this on right away just to clean up the workspace so I know exactly what I'm doing. Gonna make sure the logo is where I want it to be and everything is straight at the bottom. Should be good right there, I think. Peel that part off. Get this as close to the head tube as possible. Right there. That's gotta be golden. Oh yeah. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna file the edges. We're just gonna cut this part straight away. Perfect, clean cut. We don't need the rest of this, so throw that back behind me. Sorry about the tree. Now we gotta figure out what to do for the rest of the deck. Might be cut off a little bit, but that's okay. We're gonna cut as close to the end as possible. Right there. You know what, the B is gonna be cut off by the brake a little bit, but it's built up by Jared Fraser, so that's all you really need. That didn't make any sense, but we're going. Damn, that was pretty straight. First try. File this out. Come on, get that last little. Make this cut, come on. Home stretch, and then we can start building the rest of the scooter, and hopefully that goes by pretty smooth. I'm not sure how it's gonna go, but. All right, grip tape done, and uh, I think it looks pretty sick. I think the red is gonna look real nice, because as you can see, red graphics on the bottom, as well as the side. I'm in the red t-shirt. Canadian flag is white and red. We got the vault logo in the back with the red. Let's start building now. Put this stuff down. All right, we're gonna start off on the front end. Gotta get this bolt out of the fork here. Good, headset, there it is. Slide the headset over the fork like that. Throw that in there. Boom. And look at that fitment. Nice and flush right there on the top. Now, HIC kit. By the way, we did end up finding the Ethic HIC kit. Smack that on there. We might have to do some cutting action because that is not gonna fit. HIC shim is now cut. Sorry for the quick interruption, but now we can pop it on and in theory, we'll put this there, bolt through there and on top and there we go. We are meant. Tighten this up a little bit. I'm gonna retighten everything and just get it to exactly how I want it. That is good. We're gonna go ahead and we'll do the front end first. Cool thing about the Aztec fork, especially with this build is it has the red axle. With my wheels, there's like always a line side and then the graphic side. I always do the graphic side on the right. I don't know why. I've always done it since I was a kid. Get in there, man. Let's go. We got things to do today. There we go. See, all you gotta do is tell the bolts how you feel and just intertwine. Two six mil Allen keys, tighten this thing up. All right, now the back end, we're gonna throw the brake back on. One more crank on each one. Boom, brakes on, nice and tight. Now we can get the back wheel started and get this axle out of this deck. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. You see me on the street? <laughs> you already know. This deck comes with smaller spacers as well as bigger ones, 30 wide wheel compatible, smaller ones or for the bigger wheels. We won't be needing that. We need the bigger ones for 24 wide wheels. And there. Graphic side on the right, always.
perfect, so far so good. Now is the challenge not to drop the spacer. Come on, oh yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. I usually just try to put my pinky inside the dropout, see if I can hold it a tiny bit till it catches thread. And then after that, you only need the one tool. Okay, I think that's good. Nothing loose so far. All right, now it is time to put the top end of the scooter together. We'll put the grips on, bar ends, and then, yeah, we do have cut a slit in the bars, so I'll head into the shop, do that. Yeah, you wanna do the graphic side on the inside. All right. Okay, one down, one more to go. Okay, barn time. Fun fact, I actually am riding the same barns on my scooter and I got them at the vault in 2018. And I've been riding them ever since. They're still going good. I don't even need a new set yet. I highly recommend these barns if you have not already. Especially when you're riding tie bars because when you're doing bar spins and stuff, just makes the bars come around so much faster and just feels way better in my opinion. Nice and tight. Now for the next one. Good to go. Now we just got to throw the clamp on the bars. Got to loosen the bolts up a little bit. Okay, now the moment of truth. Does this go on? Perfect. Come on, I don't want to, I don't want to put it on the ground and do it. There we go. That was, that was a sexy sound. That was great. You know what? Maybe we'll try to knock the clamp down the tiniest bit more. See if we can get a little bit flush. That, yeah, that's as good as we're gonna get it. That's fine. Okay, where's the six? Right here. Now we can finally tighten this thing up and uh, do a drop test for you guys because I know all you little scooter kids out there love to hear how this thing sounds, so. All right, everyone. Here is the finished build. All right, I hope you guys all enjoy how it looks as much as I do. I really love how the silver on the fork kind of complements the silverish accents on the clamp, the white deck, the red, the black, the Canadian colors, like I said, it all ties in very well together. But now the moment of truth, we're gonna see how this thing sounds and uh, yeah, let's go do a drop test. Sounds pretty good, eh? Alrighty everyone, I hope you all enjoyed the video and of course the custom build, it sounds really good, you know, cause it is built by me, I'm the GOAT. Yeah, hope you all enjoyed. I wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to the Vault Pro Scooters for allowing me to do this as well as my sponsors, Fusion and Lair Pro Shop, of course, for getting me out here. And uh, yeah, if you guys wanna see more videos like this, subscribe to the Vault, like this YouTube video, comment down below, let me know your thoughts on them. I will be checking the comments because I think this thing looks beautiful and I wanna know what you all think as well. But uh. Yeah, without further ado, we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.